still can't have. I was even looking at the healthier like snack options and stuff in the grocery store and a lot of them have oils that I can't have. So yeah. I want to kind of go and get one of those tests though. I had one when I was younger that basically tested me for all of my allergens or whatever. But I want to go and get a new one just to see. Even though I feel like I've kind of just figured it out by paying attention to my body whenever I'm eating stuff. I feel like I've kind of figured it out on my own. But I want to just, you know, dive a little bit deeper into it. But basically, I just got everything. And I just have meals set for the week for like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And that's basically what I just went ahead and got from the grocery store yesterday. And I went to Aldi and I got my meat. And y'all, honestly, I spent like, I spent less than $50 on my groceries less than fifty dollars on all of my groceries and babes fifty dollars is like i don't know i don't know what i don't know how i think it's aldi though i think it's aldi because i usually go and get my meat from Publix. maybe that's it i don't know because i got more groceries than i usually be getting to be honest but um when I get back home, we're gonna do nails and toes, and also, oh man, I did not bring those wigs. I was planning on going to go drop off the wigs after my appointment, but I'm gonna have to go back to the house, pick up the wigs, and then go drop them off. We have approximately 15 minutes to, to go and get these wigs shipped off. Okay, 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 okay. That helps. Matter of fact, I struggle to write this stuff on it first. Pause, be right back context of church we see as you may have heard a divine influence of the heart god turned his heart to us in ways that we didn't deserve or could not have earned that is what grace is charis is the word that is translated as grace of grace called charis a gift to the only thing is that the person who gave the gift often had a higher value gift or is translating into our relationship with god the grace of God is why I have another chance. The grace of God is why I know I'm going to see the goodness of God. I know it may look like you died. I know it may look like you should be locked up. But if you give me something to work with, you can enter into an alliance. I'm sure. Grace is not insurance for you to do whatever you like. Mm -hmm something real cute but God told me I gotta really break down what grace is because some of us do treat grace like it is insurance and grace yeah. is gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make the mistake but I believe grace is gonna cover me when you really get Come a revelation of grace you understand that if God ever gave me what I truly deserve <laughs> if God ever lifted his grace off of my life then imposter syndrome would be right because I have no business being where I am but God's grace the grace of God. He says, Paul, when he changed the way that I saw myself, when he changed the way I saw what he was doing in the earth, I decided that his grace toward me would not be in vain because I don't feel entitled to grace just because you allowed me to have grace on credit. Some people in this room got grace on credit. God says, I'm going to give you grace first. And then when you step into the grace, I want you to live in such a way that I know that my grace was not in vain. Mm. That you recognize what this is. Because Ooh. if you recognize what this is, you won't do that again. I just got to be so good to you that you never want to go back to who you were before. I feel obligated to, I am a slave to the gospel. Not because I did everything right. Not because he actually chained me, but because he kept chasing me with Hello. his grace. Don't you know you could get somebody else, but you keep chasing me into this bar. Ooh. You keep chasing me into the that you can do with these. Right before this, how he's got this thorn in his flesh. God, I feel like you want to do something in this place. God, I could almost be used, but I got this thorn 
in my flesh. We're hoping that if I give you my weakness, I'll finally feel strong. I can do it. And that's why you're rich and still upset. And that's why you dropped out and still ain't got no peace. There is no drug greater than my grace. You gotta take that. Here I am, Lord. Here I am with my weakness. you to give me your weakness. And it can help you forget. It can help you walk away. But if you want to be strong for real, you got to take that weakness and say, God, here I am. Here I am with my know about you. But I'm trying to live a life that confuses the enemy. How in the hell did all of the hell I put her through not keep her from being church tonight anyway so I need to I wonder why from me God took me to the old testament testament somebody said it's bad luck to wear a ring on your ring finger and can you tell me can I have because I, I think I we messed it, it up a little bit now oh, no. no it was necessarily that the cute. most right about who we are connected to because we are afraid that who we are connected to he gives Noah a doubt yeah. trust the grace in Genesis 6 was the law and they broke it but they did not die I can look at the lengths I will go to cover you God took an animal that did nothing wrong at all but did but because God said for some reason I'm gonna cover you girl hold up cause hold on now since we and my thing don't don't fit. Y'all, not I had to go watch a video on YouTube after I've had this drill for I don't know how long. I got it though. <laughs> Those earrings were a bit 
get too dressy for this shirt. And y'all know how to wear all black. And I'm down to like my last couple of things. So we about to start restart the rotation. So um yeah, I'm headed to church now and I did my nails and my toes as y'all seen. I didn't end up getting to do them yesterday because I know I said yesterday it was maintenance day or whatever, but I didn't end up getting to it. So I did my nails and toes today as y'all see. And I love this color. It's like a really pretty neutral. Um, I did end up having to like basically redo my well one foot. Cause I started out with uh D and D funny bunny. It's like a white and I already slipped on like white on my toes. I don't I don't know, I just don't. So I was like, mm, I don't know. Funny Bunny is like an off-white. It's not a like solid white. So I feel like I used to like Funny Bunny. But I don't know. When I put it on there, it just wasn't given. Then I tried to put a different color on top of it. And it was hideous. Like, it was hideous. So um, I was like, I'm going to just go with it because I already put it on there now. But then I was like, you know what, no. Like, no. My toes are important. And anything on my body, on me, is important, okay? I need to like whatever I got going on. My nails, my toes, hair, whatever. So, yeah. I was like, nah. I just went ahead and took it off and redid it or whatever. So, yeah. Nails and toes are done. Um, here in a bun. Because the silk press was not silk pressing. It wasn't giving them. I mean, it's kind of giving silk because my hair has been really shiny lately. Even on the days that I don't add oil to it, it's still be like, it's just been shiny, like, I feel like. So, I'm at the church. I just wanted to check in and say hey because I feel like I haven't actually talked to y'all for real for real today. I know I said, like, I kind of talked a little bit, I think, while I was getting ready, but it just really hasn't been too much chatting, you know? So, yeah, but. In fact, I do plan on cooking tonight, if I still have the energy. I do plan on cooking. So, yeah, but y'all know cooking really be like a montage with music over it though. So, I still probably won't say anything, but I just want to check in, so. Take her, her her wig. Um. Yeah, I'm currently had to go and take Yana her wig, and then we're gonna go um, to the park again. I want to grab something to drink again too. I don't want to smooth it today though. I want like a refresher or something. So I'm gonna see where I can find a refresher at. I had my water yesterday. I put um, coconut water in it because, like I told y'all, like they said that, you know, just regular water doesn't really hydrate you like it's supposed to. So I added coconut water to it. So, yeah. And, um, it's, it's 4. <laughs> it's 4.14. And, um, yeah. So, I'm going to go take Yana her wig. And then I'm going to go, are we going to go to the park? I'm so excited. Um, this today, I went outside at home, um, and I just sat outside or whatever, and read and stuff, and I just, I don't know, I've really been feeling like the urge to just really, really soak in his presence these days, and honestly, I'm really, really happy that it's like kind of coming back in a way, I guess you would say, because like at the beginning of this year, I was super, super, super on fire, like for the word. Like I would spend hours reading, hours. Like I'm telling you, especially when I was fasting, because I mean, I wasn't really doing anything else. So maybe I'm talking about, I would be like till two o'clock. I would just be reading all day. Um, and when I was, I was just getting so many revelations and it was just so interesting. I really, really loved it. And recently I was just praying kind of just for that to, you know, come back or whatever. Um, although I still push myself, I would still push myself morning and night to, you know, read or whatever. Although I'm not reading as long as I would, um, before 
I still don't go to sleep without reading. I don't start my day up really without reading first. But I just really wanted to be back in that space where I'm just reading for a long time and God is just downloading, downloading, downloading. And I'm really just getting so many revelations because I really, really did enjoy that and I just felt like so in his presence, close to him. So yeah, I'm really, really happy that that's like coming back. So yeah. And I wanna talk about, I feel like I should talk, I kinda speak about this a little bit too. Um, Cause y'all know that I do talk about fasting a lot. And somebody DM me and she was basically just saying like how, um, she said something along the lines of like, be careful with like fasting so much um, because it can cause maybe like health issues or something like that she was saying. And um, she was saying like a lot basically. And so when I first seen the message, I was just like, eh, like, fasting breaks strongholds. Fasting is powerful. So I have absolutely no problem with fasting, you know, all the time or whatever. So what really came to me though, what I got like a revelation of or what I feel like I started to think for myself as far as you know fasting so much is I also feel like maybe I had to realize like my God can still work even if I'm not fasting you know because I kind of had a mindset of like I have to fast in order for God to move but me not fasting and still seeing him move just like shows that you know I don't always have to be fasting for him to show up you know so that's more so what I feel like I um it like opened the door to my thoughts to start thinking like that from what she said I didn't like hopefully y'all get what I'm saying I'm not really going towards of course it could probably be um detrimental to your health I guess you know in ways But I don't know. I don't really think that far, that like deep into it. <laughs> Cause I just trust God. <laughs> and yeah. So and the people in the Bible, the folks used to, they they didn't drink or eat for days, and they were just fine. So I mean, I feel like if they can do it, I can do it. You know. And I don't even be doing that. So I mean, I may go without food and still drink water but they be going without food and water for for a long long period of time so i'm getting out big b you look cute where you gonna go oh thank you okay oh my Girl, they smoothies is humongous compared to the smoothie I got last week at the other place. And it was cheaper. <laughs> Let's see what it tastes like though. I got the green RX smoothie. So it has it was a it's a wellness smoothie and it has kale, coconut milk, peaches, I don't mean, know, pineapples, mango, avocado. I subtracted the avocado and guava juice. It does taste very healthy, but it's good. I love how smooth it is.
I don't like a chunky smoothie. That's that's tea. Oh, and it has matcha in it. <laughs> Y'all, I literally haven't. <clears throat> Y'all, I literally haven't moved because I have an important meeting to hop on at 6. And I was just like, I don't want to go, you know, and get in his presence and then have to stop. Or interrupt my time, knowing that I have this meeting. So, it's 5.53. I think I'm going to, like, try to join. Well, I'm going to go ahead and, like, open it. I think if I open it, like even if they're not on, um, like it'll pop up. It'll pop up once they open it. <clears throat> I wanna buy for you. Only for you. You're fine, I promise. <laughs> so, go back. I'm very sorry. You're good. You have a good day. <laughs> All right, you too. Come on. But, um, y'all, we will never use this blanket again. Oh, why do I look so sweaty? We will never use this blanket again, babes. I can still feel the grass through the, through the, um, I can feel the grass through the, through the blanket. Like, it's prickly. The, the blanket we had last week, it was smooth. I couldn't feel the grass. I don't like that. I don't really know if 
I'm about to be on time or if I'm late. But, babes, the sun is down and I'm just trying to figure out why is it still hot. Like, no. I'm so ready for fall. But I really didn't do much today, so that's why I didn't pick up the camera. Um, I just ate or whatever. And then last night we cooked dinner. I tried the little sweet chili sauce that I had picked up from the grocery store. And it's actually really good. I just don't know if... I don't know. Like, it was good when I tasted it, like, just by itself. I don't know about with, like, with my chicken. Although I did eat it today with the sauce again. But I think next time, whenever I do it, I'm going to try and make it, like, on the stove. So, basically, put the sauce in there with the chicken and everything. And just mix it all together in a way. Um, and I said it will probably taste really, really good on some wings. This is my mother. She must be there. Hello. Where you at? I'm on the way. Did it start? Oh my God, you ain't finna find no parking spot. I hate the parking spot. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm sorry y'all. I've also just been like, we've been getting stuff, um, like situated. I was handling something. But, yeah, I don't even know what I was saying. But, I know I wasn't doing anything. I was talking about, oh, was I was talking about the chili sauce. I think I was. But I said it would be really, really good with some wings, like on some wings. So, I may try to do that. I've never made wings a day in my life. So, I may try that. Because I do want to, like, start trying a lot of different meals and stuff. Um instead of my norm, my usual. I wanna start branching out and making other stuff because I just need to start getting in my cooking bag, for real, so. Yeah. <laughs> hey y'all, so it is Saturday and I'm headed to my lash appointment. I did me a lash bath this morning. Um, I really hope that y'all can hear me over this air, but y'all, I tried to turn the air down and girl, it's so hot outside, like, about to suffocate in here. Um, so yeah, I'm headed to my lash appointment. Today is Saturday. I think we're gonna go with a different lash method today, and I also wanna go shorter. Um, she sent me something that I think she found on Pinterest, because I was trying to explain it to her, like, I basically like when my lashes are a bit lighter. I don't like them being, like, super dark. So, um, I think we're gonna try something different and also go shorter. But the thing about it is I'm just like, what exact lengths would we even do? Because I think my longest now is 13, but it just still seems so long. Like, I don't, I'm trying to, I don't want them to be long. I literally want them to be like, I think I, I don't know. Maybe my longest needs to be like a 12. I don't know, because the little lashes that I put on my, that I put on, oh, did I miss my turn? The lashes that, hold on, wait, this girl, what is, what they got going on down there? The lashes that I put on myself out of the little, um, the little box or whatever, like I've been using a 12 and they don't be this, they don't be like, I don't feel like they be looking this long. And this, this, the longest is 13. This is too long. Don't get me wrong, they were super cute, but I just like shorter lashes. Like, I don't like long lashes. So, we're gonna go shorter today and try a different lash mapping. So, yeah. I'm excited though to see how they turn out because the pictures that she sent me that she found on Pinterest are really, really cute. So, we're about to pull up, so I'll see y'all when we get inside. Liv, I'm here. Okay. Mm -hmm. You don't be cold to me. I do. I don't know why I want to. I be free. I be wanting to like get cute, but I be also having to try to like stay warm if that makes sense. 
Girl, it's hot outside. <laughs> it is, but like, I don't see clothes. Oh, should I leave from the fan? Yeah, that's cool. Now, this is some fondant. It's supposed to help, like, with your retention. Mm -hmm. This is the secret key. Oh. Let me get the phone. Oh. Yeah, hold on. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to see am I turning right? Okay, y'all, the lashes are done, and I'm obsessed because, like, they're given so natural and short, like, literally exactly what I wanted. So we went with we went with the wet look. Um, she built in with the wet look and basically just left the fans that I already had on there on there or whatever. So yeah, super 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 obsessed with my lashes and we did go shorter i'm not sure like what shorter length she used but i know i i just told her like basically when i'm looking up oh i can turn it in the air a little bit now when i'm looking up like i don't want my lashes to be touching my brows or whatever so yeah i love them so um right now though we're about to head to you mommy i think that's what it's called she said because we were just talking or whatever while i was getting my lashes done and she was like, she had asked me to do a, like ramen. <laughs> and I figured that she was talking about like real ramen, you know, not the little ramen packets or whatever, but I've never been to actual ramen place. Um, but she said that this is one of her favorite spots or whatever. So we're gonna go here. Um, fingers crossed that I like it. But it's just like, how can ramen even be nasty? How can noodles be nasty, you know? So, and it's about to be time to get my car washed again. Oh wait, am I supposed to be in turn line? I think I'm. Okay. Now, oh, the ice cream truck right here beside me. Oh, y'all, my favorite pop to go off the ice cream truck is the. I like the Tweety Bird. I like this um the two ball screwball things. I like the blue one. I like the watermelon bomb pop. And I like the cotton candy, like, cotton candy, the, the bubble gum, the bubble gum, popsicle, yeah, them all my favorites off of the um, popsicle trip. All right, now popsicle trip. Shawty, I'm right here beside you now. But anyways, yeah, we're headed to you mommy now, so. I will meet y'all there. How you get over there? Oh, you're right here. we go. The Oh, quick. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can we have some napkins? Yeah. Excuse me, sir. May I get another spoon? This one's dirty. Check yours. Oh, see, I'm thinking that the red piece come out. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Okay, okay, it's yeah. The whole piece. Yeah, okay. It's delicious. I'm excited. It don't smell like nothing. It's a little spicy. Do you like Is spicy? It? Oh, I love spicy. You gonna like it? You can be branching out. Okay, girl. Yeah, we going on like up the world. You wanna come? You never had ramen. Yeah. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> but then, if I want just the noodles, I'll do the chops. So do you break the top thing? Mm hmm You keep yours together. I don't know because I don't know how to. Mm -hmm. use it. I don't really think I do it right. I'm gonna break them for you. Yeah. I'm 
gonna chop stick left. Okay, so we process. You see, like I'm holding this one between my index and my middle finger. Okay. And I'm holding this one. I don't know. I got it right, don't I? Yeah. And then I just, I be trailing, man. Mm -hmm. I came back home. I was like, oh, I gotta find me some new food places. I don't want to keep eating the same places that I knew before. Can y'all tell these are obviously my favorite jeans? <laughs> but um, I just came to Target because I need some for church tomorrow, and I have absolutely y'all know I have to y'all know I have to wear all black or whatever. But I'm running out of my all black fit. We ran into Target real quick. I have this skirt, um, and then they have these new shirts in here, y'all, that are just like kind of I don't know, but they feel like really really good quality. So I got the white, black, and green one. I'm gonna see how they fit. I don't want no crop tops, so we're gonna see how they look. I have these little like trouser pants, and then these, I'm gonna just see which ones I like better. And I really don't think I'm gonna like the skirt, but I just got it just in case. So I'm about to try these on, so let's see. I feel like I look like I'm going the first day of dental school orientation. No. I don't like it. Well, I mean, it's not bad, but maybe it's because my hair isn't done and stuff, but I don't know. This shirt definitely doesn't fit like how I thought it was gonna fit. I, it's a, this is a small, cause I'm trying to like go up in my shirts because like, I don't know. It's like, I feel like I'm an extra small, but then I don't know. It's just, I don't, why is it so baggy up here and stuff? I don't like that. The pants, um, they have an okay fit. They're like, Ew, my stomach. This, uh, obviously, ramen makes you bloated. Cause, girl, what? Well, I did, did have two bacon and egg sandwiches this morning. But, I mean, it's not a crop type, but it's just not giving. Let me try on the other pants. Honestly, I think that these are more like it. I like the bottom of them. I obviously don't like, like, the short, like, capri cut. I really do like my pants. Like, even though rubbing the ground isn't, like, the best. But I just really like long pants. But I'm not gonna lie though, these don't come up as high so it's kind of showing my stomach so that ain't gonna work. Um, and they're like, they're not too big, not too big around the waist and stuff. Um, like they fit perfectly. Oh my God, my stomach. <laughs> they fit perfectly. I feel like um, it's just this part. <laughs> The crotch area that kind of needs to you know come in a bit so yeah all of this is a no be so for real y'all it was literally nothing in there for me to wear so i don't know what i'm gonna do because it's literally like about to be eight o'clock right now and um, I honestly don't even have the energy to be going in and out of stores to find something. So, I'm probably just going to have to find something. I don't know. I'm going to have to scuff something up. <laughs> Most of my black stuff be like athleisure, you know, like workout. I have a lot of that type of black stuff. But as far as like clothes, clothes, I don't really have a lot of black that's appropriate. I feel like to wear to church. Church, you know. Um, so yeah, I don't know. We will see how tomorrow, we will see how tomorrow goes. But y'all, my lashes are so cute and natural. Like, I love them. I don't know. I think I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog here though. And also, let me just say this. I just appreciate and love y'all so much because since the last vlog, so many of y'all have sent me like uplifting and encouraging little messages, posts, TikToks, whatever the case may be. Um just like to uplift and encourage because i know last vlog i spoke about you know like going through a season of testing and stuff like that and that's just why i just ooh, i just love y'all because i just love y'all okay and i just thank y'all and appreciate y'all so much like i swear i can't even i don't even know how to put it into words and uh, girl why do i feel like i'm about to get emotional but no like seriously i just really really hope that y'all understand that and no, like from the bottom of my heart like i appreciate y'all so much for the uplifting and encouraging words because like of course like i stay 
you know, I stay encouraged and stuff myself. And of course, just like reading and being in the word and stuff and just knowing who my father is and knowing that I really don't have to worry about negativity or word, worry about tests and things like that at the end of the day. But just knowing that like the support system that I have here and just y'all being how y'all are and just the community that I have built or we have built here over the years, it's just like so amazing. And I'm just so happy like with what we have built over here and i'm just so proud of how much we are growing and just like where we're going because i just know that i just know that like none of it will be like in vain none of it will be for nothing like nothing that i have went through nothing <sighs> it, none of it will matter you know none of it will matter soon so um yeah i know that it's all a part of the plant it's all a part of the story and i appreciate all of it the good the bad and the ugly like the song says i thank you for it all literally because at the end of the day it all builds character it's all um not just like the negative comments and stuff like that but just things that i don't even talk to y'all about it's just like i know that it's all a part of my testimony at the end of the day and god has been writing a beautiful beautiful testimony behind the scenes and i know that i know that the good is i know that the the good is coming so yeah i just appreciate y'all so much for being who y'all are and being so supportive and yeah i'm just so thankful and grateful for our space over here so yeah but like i said i'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog i hope that y'all enjoyed and i love y'all so much i'll see y'all in my next one